Sandra! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Cassandra, please! You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult! I tried to save you! I did everything! The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your daughter. Cassandra, come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family? Home? <laughs> The cult is my family. The battlefield is my home. I told you, Mater. She's beyond reason. Beyond reason? Is that what you told Mater? Why didn't you tell her the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with the destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a... Broken spear. You don't have a destiny. You're just a tool used by the cult. I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. You're a weed. Trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted! And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is at the root. Cassandra! When I was little, I found a lion cub. Trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in a world of beasts, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. And my destiny is clear. I won't let you get in my way. Cassandra, listen to me. You're my sister. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I won't fail again. You can't protect anyone, can you? Maybe we both should have died here that day. But... No! The gods are cruel. I tried to save you! Stop living in the past, brother! 
Your death is now. Ah, you hurt this family for the last time. <laughs> oh, buddy. That's where you're wrong. The hurting has only just begun. So disappointed. The spear of Leonidas was wasted on you. Who trained you? Father? Father? You should have trained with the gun. Would have made this work for everything. Soon you'll be dead. And so will your precious hope.
It is strange being in this house again. It feels smaller than I remember. And emptier. At least we are still here. so bad, was it? It'll never be the same. I thought it could. But it'll take some work. It's impossible to see through the gods' eyes. They have a plan, you know. If we could, then we'd know just what to do. Someone's kept their eye on me. You're special! Look at the life they've blessed you with. Not so bad, if you think of it all. That's optimistic, considering. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you.
Be watching for me. I need to be careful. <clears throat> the gates are shut, no trade can come or go, and an army of Spartans waits for its prey. Think wisely, although no one can truly know anything. Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. Ah! <laughs> 
She never got to be a little girl. I talked to her like she was already grown up. Which you did out of respect for her. Question your choices, Alexios, but never doubt them. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. If only he had shared this burden. We only knew him as he presented himself to be, but who's to say that wasn't his true self? This war has taken so many. Even Vrasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I could have helped him more. He was on my side. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. I heard Cleon was found on the beach. Massacred, no less. It was no worse than what he would have done to his own people. I had to follow through. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? supply me with plenty of new material for my next play. Remember how Alexios took the monger to task for all of Corinth to see. That would suit a drama. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To us. Who have persisted through everything, and to those who wanted to persist. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> 